GM, GM, everybody, welcome to this special edition of the Solana Changelog. How you doing today, John? Good, how are you, Nick? I'm doing great. We've got this huge announcement. The The Hyperdrive Hackathon is, is starting right now. So this, uh, this Solana Changelog is going to be a little bit different than normal. We're going to go tons of developer resources and, and general Solana resources to really get people up to speed on Solana and to, to see some cool stuff get built during the, the hackathon. What do you think? You ready to do this? Let's go. What do we got for them? Okay, okay. Uh, the first one, the easiest one, solana.com slash developers. It's your go-to one-stop shop for anything about Solana development. You can find tons of resources, including links to the Solana, the official Solana documentation, the Stack Exchange, if you're looking to get questions answered. And then there's also tons and tons of courses and guides on how to actually learn Solana development if you are new to Solana development. And then some various links off to uh, common resources in the ecosystem. Like you've got the Anchor Framework here, Solana Playground, all really great stuff. And then, uh, of course, you do have the official Solana docs at docs.solana.com. So if you're, again, new to Solana development, you can check out this page and this, this website and just take a read through the documentation. If you have any questions, please post them on the Stack Exchange. What about you, John? What are your what are your favorite resources to go to right now? If you go to the Solana Developers GitHub, you'll find uh, various repos with reference implementations you can use. For example, if you go to the Program Examples repo, you'll find common reference implementations in a variety of formats, including native Rust, uh, the Anchor Framework, Seahorse, and uh, even Solang. Additionally, if you're interested in the Deepin track, Jonas from the DevRoute team has created the Solana Deepin examples repo with two examples, one where you control a light switch using Solana Pay, and a second, which is the Solana Bar, which is effectively a wine dispenser powered by Solana. Next, if you're interested in the games track, you can go to the Solana Game Starter Kit, also created by Jonas, which includes a variety of on-chain games that you can reference yeah, all three of these repos are, are loaded with tons of information on how to build things with Dpin and games and Solana, and it's all really, really cool. And some of the other stuff you can go through is also at Solana Mobile, one of the one of the Opos things, only possible on Solana. You can go to docs.solanamobile.com and figure out how you can maybe integrate the Solana Mobile stack into your application if you want to build a mobile app using you know native Android, iOS, Kotlin, or React Native. And then on the Solana mobile docs, you'll also be able to find this example application of how to build a collection of example applications, actually, of how to build various things and how to actually integrate with the, the Solana mobile stack. And then my personal favorite, Solana Pay at solanapay.com and docs.solanapay.com. You can figure out how to actually use the Solana Pay protocol and the specification within your application. So you can do all sorts of really cool things with QR codes. Like I said, it's, it's one of my personal favorite things. I love being able to just scan a QR code with my wallet and then just have some sort of transaction happen. I think that's one of the one of my favorite things about all of these resources we're talking about today. And then, of course, we have the Solana Pay Scaffold, which gives an example repo of how to actually build with Solana Pay and gives an example of, I, I believe this is a point of sale system. You can actually just integrate natively with Solana Pay. Also, if you're interested in integrating Solana with AI, you can go to chatgpt.solanalabs.com, which links to the repo for the Solana ChatGPT plugin. You can use this as a reference implementation if you want to further integrate with uh, ChatGPT. Lastly, for DAOs, you can reference Realms, which includes a variety of tooling to help build uh, a decentralized community. You can reference their docs to learn how to implement Realms into your own project. Yeah, all, all the links for everything we've talked about in this week's change log will be in the description. And let's really just shift the Solana ecosystem into hyperdrive. I look forward to seeing all the projects you all build. Have a good one. <laughs>